Okay guys, so time is money. So the faster you can design a website, the faster you get paid. And for this, I have the ideal tool to show you today. Plus, I also have a special offer to introduce. Okay, so let me show you. So for this, we are going to use Maxi Blocks, which is an add-on to your WordPress block editor. And with it, you'll be able to design like a pro with fast styling web templates. Now on their website, the price starts at 99 US dollars per year. But like mentioned, I have a special offer for you today only available on the AppSumo website. As you can see here on the AppSumo website, you can get it for just 59 US dollars. And as always, I'll leave all the links in the description below. Right, good. So welcome to our WordPress dashboard. And as you can see, I have MaxiBlocks installed already. Now you need to install a theme as well to go along with it. So which one works best? Well, we have an article here. Can I use any WordPress theme with MaxiBlocks? And these are all the recommended ones. So these are the most popular ones, obviously, you know, we have all the default ones that come with WordPress. And then you also have Hello from Elementor, Astra, Ocean WP, Generate Press, Neva, Cadence, and Bloxy. So I personally like Astra. So this is the one I installed. And this is what it looks like in the front end at the moment. So very basic at the moment, obviously there is no content. So let me show you how you can build a beautiful website using maxi blocks. So we go back to our WordPress dashboard and then from here we go to pages and let's create one together. Okay, so let's pretend you already have maybe services, contact and about us and we're going to create a home page together. Okay, so add new page. So let's give it a title. So maybe home page. Okay, just like this and then publish, publish. So let's keep it like this for now. Very good. So now let me show you how quickly and how efficiently you can build a page. So right here, as you can see, we have the Maxi Blocks logo. So I'll click on this and right there, as you can see, you have a few different icons. So what are these? Well, basically here, this is your template library and just next to it, you have the style card. So this is basically where you should start. So this is your color scheme. So basically the colors that will be applied throughout your whole website. As you can see, browse style card, you can import or export as well, and you can customize it the way it is now. So let's click on the browse style cards uh, for now okay so as you can see have all the different combinations of colors so these are predefined you can use them immediately they're ready to go which is super handy because obviously colors convey different feelings and emotions so depending on the type of brand that you have and the message you want to convey you might select one over the other so if you scroll down the page you can see have all these different colors and then feel free to select any color palette that you want so let's go ahead with something neutral maybe i don't know this one here as an example okay so you can click on this there you go. So now your color library has been loaded up and all the, the items that you're going to add will have the same color palette throughout the whole website. So again, this is a very handy touch. And then after this, you can start building your page. And for this, we are going to use the template library. So I'll click on this and right here by the side, as you can see, you have all the different elements you can add. So you have accordions, blog, call to action, footer, headline, hero, and so on and so on. So basically, these are all the sections that you would use normally on any web page you would create. So clearly, first, you would use the menu section. You would add the menu section or maybe by the hero section and then maybe about us or maybe a call to action and so on and so on so let's build that together okay so right here on top as you can see you have all the different features so we are using the pro version so we, all of them are available there's also a free version by the way okay and then you can sort them by light or dark only so depending on which type of website you're going to build maybe you prefer dark mode in which case it will only show the dark mode widgets and then in light mode the same as well so this way it's going to save you time and you won't have to filter through all the different items so this is again a nice way of saving a bit of time okay so let's start with the menu sections so right here we have navigation menu click on this and then you can select any of those okay so basically here again we have light mode and dark mode so let's go with dark mode for this one okay just as an example and normally you would stick to the same uh, mode all throughout the whole website now again it's up to you you can mix and match uh, this works as well obviously you know so you can see some of them have a call to action button, some have uh, like social media icons, etc. You know, so you can mix and match as well. Uh, like I said, you know, so feel free to select any of them. I'm just going to go for something simple here. Uh, maybe this one here. If you're not too sure, you can also preview. If you click on preview, it will show you what it looks like in a pop up window. So this is what you can expect if you were to install this one. Okay. And obviously it works on tablets and mobile phones as well. As you can see, it looks absolutely perfect. Okay. So let's go ahead with this. So I'm going to install this one. So in Insert, 
And now right here, as you can see, we don't have any menu set up yet. So we need to do that as well. So create a new menu. And now right here by the side, you can add all your different elements. So click on the plus sign. So is it a page link, custom link, button, page list, etc. Here. So I'm just going to select page list because we have three pages already. So I'll click on this. They go also about us, contact, homepage and services. And that's basically it. Okay. And as you can see now, they are displaying here absolutely fine. So this is our menu sorted. So next we need a hero section obviously okay so we're going to click on this template library we go to our hero section so hero here and as you can see you can select among 274 different ones so that's quite an extensive and comprehensive selection that isn't it so if we scroll down the page again select the one that you prefer so I'm just going to select one here at random to be honest you know so I'm just going to select maybe this one here okay so insert Excellent. So as you can see, now we have our menu section, we have our hero section. And again, to customize the content, all you have to do is click on it and start uh, customizing the content. Now, by the side, as you can see, you have all these different settings here with settings and advanced. So every time you see like a greenish uh, square here in the left uh, top corner that means that one of the settings has been changed so if you open height and width as an example as you can see this is set for large mode and also the minimum and maximum value set to 100 percent of the width so this is basically is taking the whole uh, element or the whole section here okay so that's basically how this works so every time you see like a green square in the corner that means that one of those settings has been uh, customized and changed and then feel free to customize this as well as you see fit so all these settings are pretty self-explanatory but we're not going to go through all of these obviously you know okay so let's add another section together so we go to the template library and let's add maybe let's see a headline or something like this okay just to highlight maybe what we do and uh, why you should uh, purchase from us or something like this you know to bring out the main uh, benefits of our service or maybe our products so I, I, th I think this one is pretty nice so I'm going to insert this okay so we have it here in between so as you can see pure elu so it could be about us for instance you know it could have maybe about us and maybe type here all the, the content of your about a section you know so for now i'm just going to copy and paste this a few times you know so this is uh, some uh, dummy content obviously so perhaps something like this so this could be your about a section and right here we can change our main heading so let's say if you're in the web designing industry it could be web design that bring results or something like this okay so this is basically our about a section and now let's add another one together so maybe uh, let's say our team or some testimonials perhaps okay so let's uh, go with team here and then you can select any of them so to break the pattern here as you can see it's black all the way so i might change the color a little bit okay so we're going to go for a uh, light mode this time and we're going to go to team very good so let's add something a bit quirky so maybe this one would fit in uh, blend in perfectly so insert excellent as you can see now it's loaded up so i think that looks pretty cool you know so you have to break maybe the pattern a little bit otherwise maybe too dark you know uh, so let's uh, keep this one for now this is fine and again to change all the items all you have to do is click on it and then you have all the settings here canvas and advanced settings as well so this is pretty self-explanatory as well okay so let's add one more section together so we go to template and then we can add maybe a testimonial section just like this okay and for this one we're going to go into dark mode again so as you can see they're very nice looking as you can see very very professional indeed so i might go and introduce a bit of color so perhaps this one here so insert excellent as you can see i have two different testimonials here and then feel free to change the content all you have to do again is to type uh, the content here so john doe for instance okay and then it could be maybe the director or something like this okay so, so there you go as you can see very easy to use and finally let's add maybe our footer section so footer right here and we're going to go with dark mode as well as you can see they look very very professional don't they i think this one is pretty cool with the quote here so i'm going to use this one excellent and again to change the content all you have to do is click on this and type it here okay so that's basically it so now we can click update and let's go to the home page so let's have a quick preview so click on this excellent as you can see this is our page so this looks absolutely amazing and very professional and as you can see this took us what maybe a minute and a half to create our page 
Now, if you add all the tweaks and uh, well, basically uh, changing the content to apply to your customer's needs or your own personal needs, it might take you maybe five minutes to create a homepage like this, you know. And as you can see, that looks very, very professional, doesn't it? So again, guys, as you can see, this is a very easy tool to use to design fantastic websites, very professional looking ones in just no time.